But for example, a small thing like my photograph. You see, many people say, why your photograph? So use your photograph, I say, if that works out. You see, it's something surprising. That's how people challenge me. Why your photograph? I say, why not use yours? I'll be very happy use anybody's. But it doesn't work out. What to do now? It's my photograph that works out, but even if you don't like it, you have to use it. What can I do? <laughs> it's as simple as that, you see. But in that I don't gain anything from you. I don't want anything from you, nothing material that you can give me. But you'll enjoy, you'll enjoy my love, you'll enjoy. It's all for your own enjoyment, everything is done. And this is a special time we are born in, we have a special responsibility. Today we had a lady who came, her husband came, and they were saying that uh, they had a son who was very well equipped, and he went to one of the gurus and he got completely ruined. And this particular guru we have to be rather careful about is this Rajneesh fellow. His disciples are rather difficult. They come to Sahaja Yoga all right, but they are very extreme type of people. They come with a great force to Sahaja Yoga, again go back. So all those who have been to Rajneesh and have taken his initiation have to be extremely careful. All of you who have been to gurus must know that they will be again and again attacked. So you have to be rather patient with yourself as we are with you and must know that you must assert your willpower a little bit to come up and shed off all that was screwed into your head and you paid for it, you see. So forget it. Sometimes people say that we have paid for it, so better have it. That's not the way. You better throw it away. It's horrible. You have bought a snake on your head, on your neck. So just throw away all these things that they have put you on, forget it and become yourself first of all become your own guru, ask your vibrations, develop your vibratory awareness and grow with it.